Wardy Gaming. Right guys, what's up to your favorite episode and segment of the show called Game Review, where we review the latest games, the hottest and the best games, literally. So in today's video, the game at hand, the game in question, the talk of the town is Top 11 2019. And as you can see by the logo, we've got Jose Mourinho, say Jose Mourinho himself in front of a, a green a lime background. So yeah, as you can see, it actually has got some 3D touch features as well, which makes it quite revolutionary and quite up to date. So the 3D touch, you can use the 3D touch either to either to she top 11, to sign sponsorship, to arrange a friendly, to train your players or to manage your squad. So wow, that's actually cool. And guys, to be honest, this is the first time I'm actually opening this up after having updated it. So we're actually walking through this whole thing. It's a new experience for both of us actually. So boom, we've just, it seems as if it still has the same start, but a different startup page, which is actually quite cool. They've got Jose Mourinho standing like, you know, an alpha male, an alpha coach he is, like a hundred level boss. And yeah, it's looking quite amazing, you know. Uh, I'm a Manchester United fan, by the way, so I'm not really the best fan of uh, Jose Mourinho, but it's in times like these, he looks very nice. Seems as if it is now those flat tabs, which gives it uh, a modern look to it. So they now tell you someone who has gained their level. Like if, so if a player's level gets up, it now informs you, which is actually cool. Because I didn't see this feature from the previous, uh, from the predecessor uh, of this game. We now have got flat, simple lot tabs, like the Windows 8, 9, Windows 8, 8.1 and 10 type of tabs. The recent type of tabs, which are just flat and, you know, just box like tabs. So box aged or corner aged tabs. So th this pretty much seems the same. They didn't really change the home tab, you know, and they didn't really change the, the outlook of the rests or the, you know, the outlook of this whole thing, other than just making the tabs, uh, giving them a new design. So they mainly changed the design and also the friendly part changed which is actually quite cool. And uh, the chart part really didn't change, you know? Uh, what else? Let's get into it. So they haven't also changed the spot. And for some reason, my national team segment is really missing. And I'm not quite sure why it's missing. But anyways, they haven't changed this part of the game. And uh, let's see the formation. So now we can save our formation finally. Like this was a feature that had been missing for a very long time. So now you can save your formations. You can have different formations that you can pre-save and then you can just load them by just the tap of a button. You can, or you can load a formation faster rather than having to rearrange the whole formation after just maybe one game of you just trying to tactically change or see experiment so now you can save different formations and you can now just get to load them if you want to use them which is very very great and seems to be a fine uh new layout with great uh like graphics i'm liking the layout to be honest seems very nice and the tactics as well you know still the same tactics they haven't added anything or changed anything still the same thing but i'm i'm liking this part mentality so tap on a player to set his mentality right so now you can also change the mentality of a player bringing much more fluidity and much more tactical planning to the to the team make a player either uh, attacking or defending which is very cool to be honest i'm liking i'm actually liking this and this guy nope exactly so this guy is a defensive need and i want him to draw back other than go forward it's actually great and this guy gets back steps back back nope yeah exactly so this game is actually great to be honest it seems as if it's 
it's nice you know um right so i would like my this guys to go forward like the wingers to go forward and as well as the you know the attackers this is actually great you can set the mentality of the players um what else very nice very cool top 11 it seems as if they haven't changed this they just changed the outlook now they have much more of darker tabs you know it's a darker tab which is written a target defense mentality they haven't added any much to it and uh it's still the same here it's literally still the same they did not even change anything here under the uh player selection um player selection section where you select the players and they haven't changed anything as well yeah and as well as uh match report as well so the training part is still much the same and the transfer system still the same they haven't changed anything as well they just tweaked a little bit of the uh the interface and here as well the fixtures part they haven't changed anything like literally they left it untouched the league oh uh, still haven't they have changed a bit i think now we've got the top players sec our uh, top players tab it, ma it makes it quite easy now to see you know the player statistics individual player statistics uh which is actually great my players rated third hopefully by the end of the season will be first or second um got the champs league still really the same but the background seems to be changed as well and what else the cop not changed events nothing has been changed or uh, associations nothing has been changed actually this also the club uh has not been changed club category it's not been changed the manager it has not been changed as well but they seem to have changed the spot and it's not it seems as if the trophies are now quite much bigger and much more visual you cannot much see them much more better because before they were quite smaller it's a great improvement um finance still the same thing to be honest right, let me just get to sign something as we go through this so the finance is still the same what about the stadium the ground it's still the same you know nothing has been changed they have not improved the graphics they have not added any more features or anything so yeah still the same to be honest you know i thought they were going to change the graphics though but they're not changing the graphics so well let's see i've got some work to do though you know improving the graphics yeah and adding more you know more resources to your facility as well and yeah you know still the same I might end there actually uh my stadium is being upgraded so yeah right so they haven't changed anything in the ground category and community feedback we now have got uh nothing it's the same thing and club shop they also haven't changed so the main thing i think the most important thing they have changed to be honest is um the the tactical part of the game i'm liking this whole uh you know this whole ability where you tell your players what to do if you want your players to push forward you can tell them to push forward or tell which players you know that can stay behind which is actually a great thing to be honest and i'm i'm really liking it and i hope hopefully they'll keep on adding more things but you know it's actually great to be honest so very cool top 11 i'm gonna rate this um an 8 out of 10 you know considering the fact that they could have done better by introducing 3d animation gameplay as well or 3d simulation which i i'm not sure why they haven't yet introduced it to the game because we're in 2019 for god's sake but hopefully they're gonna do that later on so that's it for the review we have given them an 8 and see you in the next video so the other thing that i quite noticed is the way you know the adverts the like the advertisements or the ads and i'll structure it in a way it's quite now easy to you know to exit them other than before like before it was quite a hassle to you know to close them and some of them would bait you into clicking the wrong exit button so that they would redirect you to you know 
their website or do their app store. But now it's quite quite easy and simple. I think you can actually see it's not more like uh, a tab which you can just press done if you want to close. So the other thing, I'm going to give this application no. I've decided to change. I'm going to give it a seven. Why? Because they were supposed to give us at least free coins or free tokens or free rewards or free players at least as a celebration or a package of appreciation that we've been with them for the whole past year and we've managed to continue this year with their application. So they're supposed to give us free gifts, but they haven't, they didn't. So I'm not gonna give them, I'm gonna give them a, a four to be honest. Four out of five, not four out of 10. That's the rating that I'm gonna give them because it did not give us anything as a sign of celebration or a token of appreciation. So top 11, 2019, four star that's all that i'm gonna give it out of 10.